Okay, good day guys. So, I uh, hope you guys are all doing good. On this video today, we're going to check and see how we can use Shell Collator for a beauty salon, um, you know, process. It is very easy uh, to carry out with the sale collator uh, point of sale software. We have different features on it, uh, like reserving a customer or scheduling an appointment for a customer. Also, um, you know, receiving the customer after the, the appointment is scheduled, generating reports on different customers, uh, and also, um, you know, assigning the uh, uh, stylist or a beautician uh, for a specific task. Let's go ahead and see uh, one by one all these features or some, some of the basic stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and log in using the administrator password, which is 1111. Click OK. Now, this is the dashboard uh, for a salon process. Uh, this is what you get as a main screen uh, for anybody who performs as a cashier. Uh, or who keeps a record of the customers. So they have that uh, this screen on the front end of the system. So we have uh, the chairs, uh, the number of chairs located. So we, all these green buttons here, it responds to each chair uh, that is available. So, and we have uh, the reservations button on the left side. We have reload and unlock. You might be getting calls from a customer asking for an appointment or asking to schedule a time slot uh, for the for the services and also there might be some customer uh, who sends an online request uh, for the same so all this can be taken in using the reservation so once you get a you know request from a customer so once you get a request from a customer you can go to the reservations and have the customer you know scheduled for the available slots so just click on reservations and you can see uh the calendar on top and there's the main clock on the uh, on the top itself just next to the calendar and uh, on this left hand side corner you have a list where you could see uh the reservations uh getting populated as and when you create uh, each time so for, for different customers so for let's let's say um, we can uh, fix an appointment for a customer. Say for example, a customer called in today to get an appointment, but for tomorrow on Thursday. So um, uh, just click on the date, and maybe customer want to come by 10 a.m. on Thursday. So I just move the clock to 10 a.m. So maybe uh, down below there, there's another clock where you could actually fix exact time when the customer comes maybe for example customer calls later time and he says or she or she says like um, maybe he or she tells you that they can reach they can only reach at 10 30 so you can just increase the time to 10 30 exactly and uh, also from the customer list you can choose the customer uh, i have already created a list of customer just click on search and it will get you the customer list you can choose any customer or you can even type in the customer manually uh, and enter uh, in that manner. So I'll just choose a customer from the list, uh, maybe Sam. Uh, the number of chairs indicates that you know, they would have their son or daughter coming along with them at the same day. So you could increase the number of chairs available. Uh, for example, let's take, for example, a single chair for, for, for the time being. And we have um, a notes here. Um, uh, just we can add notes like maybe uh, we can assign this customer a specific technician or uh, beautician or a uh, stylist for example uh, a beautician uh, by the name Bob for example so I can put Bob's client here and um, just click on the plus icon on the top right corner so that will get this uh, customer added to the schedule so as you can see it shows 10 30 a.m. Sam is a customer's name and that's Bob's client and that will be on 27th. Click on Saturday. So on Saturday we have four slots already booked for different customers at different time frame as you could see. So you just have to click on this customer and click on receive button. Now for example let's say if uh, the customers come up so we're on the, on the very next day we're going to receive the customer click on receive. So once you receive the customer it will show you receiving customer Sam select an empty table so for example it's the customer Sam came in today and I can choose any empty table here or the chair so let's say I'm going to choose chair number one so when it cook when we go to the chair number one it gets you to the standard billing uh, screen 
where you show Sam is being populated as customer and we can proceed or click on choose the service from the list below. Let's click manicure, manicure and then pedicure and let's see uh, a beard trim or something like that. So once you do that, we have added these services for this customer. After choosing the product or the service, uh, when you click on a specific service and you click on the I button right here, uh, it will get you a list of beautician who will attend to that customer. So we can assign a specific beautician, say for example, Bob, I'm gonna assign Bob um, for this customer as a beautician so uh, you can click OK so it will show Bob right below the service so Manico will be taken care of by Bob so for example next to pedicure uh, let's click on the I button again and assign for Bob himself let's click there so you get Bob taking care of these two services now for the beard trim uh, I'll just click on I button again just to choose for a stylist maybe I can uh, uh, assign Abu as a stylist for this customer for the beard trim process. So I'll just click OK. So you can see uh, manicure and pedicure will be taken care of by Bob, whereas the beard trim session will be taken care of by the stylist Abu. So that way you can assign the stylist and the beautician by clicking on this I button for each and every service. So once it is uh, carried out, all you got to do is click on is equal to. So that will get you the billing process. So you can either collect the cash or maybe choose the appropriate payment method, whether it's by cash or card or if it's a free customer or by debt. So you can choose any of these tabs and then click OK. For example, let's assume the customer has paid the cash, so just click OK. So that's it. It'll just clear off that uh, record from the sales screen. That means it will be recorded on the you know transaction database. Okay, so uh, that's how the basic process uh, of reservation and receiving the customer. Another feature we have is that uh, when you click on the main menu, you have a closed cash report. You click the closed cash report and you'll get to see uh, the uh, cash flow for the, for the particular day. For example, for, for example, if you're going to close for the day, uh, all you got to do is just enter the uh, balance amount from your cash drawer for the day. For example, you have uh, um, maybe 2,000 uh, bucks left in your cash drawer, so you can just update that here and click on close cash and it's just ask you to you know, the, whether to close it, just click yes and it will get updated automatically. So every time you close the cash, it will update as a new sequence. So every, uh, the sequence might be for a, a day or for a shift, okay? So you can just go back in time. So you just want to pull up the previous records for previous days. You can just do so by choosing the sequence accordingly, and you can show, you know, you can view the cash flow uh, on a daily basis, okay? Uh, and uh, also there's something called the payments button on the menu. You click on the payments, and this is where you are the beginning of the day when the day uh, starts. You just go ahead and click on the cash in and update the amount that you are. Uh, you have. Uh, added 4,000 or 40,000 uh, for the day uh, for your uh, in the cash drawer and then you can choose the account for maybe it's for sales purpose so you can put your notes or anything if you have and click on save and that will get added to the uh, you know closed cash report for the day so as you could see when I click on the closed cash the cash in for the, the new the, for the new sequence will be 40,000 that I added and end of the day uh, well, when you know this is going to change for the end of the day as in when the transaction progresses and after the end of the day you have to type in the balance amount on your cash drawer and then click on close cash that will take care of it okay so that's another important feature we have okay now let's just go ahead and see how to add a new product click on the main menu Let's see how to add a product or service. We'll go to the stock and click on this uh, product button, the first button on the stock, click on it. And as you could see here, we already added several products here. So uh, as you can see on the left hand side here. Now I'm going to add a new service and you could see the category and also the attribute of the product and under the attribute we're, we'll be adding the, um, the stylist and or the beautician. So that, that's where we add the beauticians. So let's go ahead and create a new one. Press the icon, the plus icon on top of that menu. Press the plus icon. So now you can 
uh, create uh, it shows a new record where you can uh, you know add the new reference number um, maybe I can uh, I'm gonna change it to number 12 we can do it manually as well <clears throat> so yes uh, I'm going into 12 and I'm going to update it as a hair straightening as a product name let's say hair straightening okay so uh, let's uh, change the barcode as well to number 12 and I'm going to choose the category so the category uh, mostly the category is going to be uh, a style okay so that's because hair uh, straightening so I'm going to choose styling and then the tax category we can put tax exempt and the buy price is zero and the selling price might be maybe a 20 and the attribute is where we assign uh, the beautician or a stylist for this product or service okay so we can just click on this drop down and uh, it will allow you to choose whether it is being assigned to a stylist or a beautician so I'm going to put it to a uh, you know assign this to a stylist because this is a, a hair straightening method so that's that's and then just go ahead and click on plus icon again and that will get this new product added to the list as you could see on the left hand side all right I need to show you all the details we have updated to show you the category and also the attributes the attributes is where we assign the stylist uh, the beautician right so let's go back now before we go back now before uh, we go back to the main menu click on the stock here and you should make sure that the in catalog checkbox is always checked on so that it will be reflecting on the catalog on the uh, sales screen okay so let's go back to the sales screen yes and uh, click on the chair okay so under the styling click here and you can see the new one that we added the hair straightening has come up so when I click on it it's going to add up to the uh, sales screen with all the sales uh, charges and stops and you can increase the units as well by clicking plus or reduce the units and then uh, when you build it a service all you got to do is just click on is equal to and choose the transaction method whether it's by cash or card or if it's a free customer or the customer is going by debt assume that the customer is going to pay uh, in cash and just click ok so that will clear off the uh, uh, you know dashboard of that uh, particular service it will be recorded on the transaction database so that's how you add a new product and also assign a stylist now let's go ahead and see how we can create a, a you know a stylist or a beautician on the database so just go to click on stock and you can see here something called the product attributes because uh, this is where we're going to add the stylist and the beauticians so when you click on product attributes it's already created here like one one of the attributes stylist and beautician and if you have any other uh, profession uh, on your uh, in, a, in your beauty salon you can always add it by clicking on this plus icon you can add the title of the attribute or the or the particular professional and then you can keep adding it so when you click on stylist it shows uh, the name stylist here and the type will be uh, by so choosing the button so, you know you can just press this select button and click save okay so that's how you can add the um, the professionals or uh, the um, you know the data or, or the, the roles uh, of your staff okay on your beauty salon you can add it accordingly and when you come back to the attribute values well that's where you add the actual name of the person under that profession for example we have added four persons under the beautician 
category. So we have Jack, Bob, Anne, and Kumar uh, already added as uh, four beauticians in our salon, for example. So I can add more people. For example, I'm gonna add uh, Robin uh, as well. Just click O plus and it will show you Robin added under the beautician as well. And you can choose that, uh, click on the drop down and you can choose, change the, uh, you know, the category or the profession. And you can see these are the names of the person under the stylist uh, category, okay? So we have Altaf, Abu, Raj, and Tina already added under the stylist role and just click uh, you know I plus icon and add um, another person when you have a more a more a more beauticians or stylist on your salon all you got to do is just click on the plus icon and add them uh, under the, under these categories uh, accordingly okay and click don't don't forget to click on the save button just come back so um, to the stock and you that's how you could add the um, you know beauticians, beauticians or uh, stylist uh, for your salon uh, these are the most important operations uh, under the salon now if you have any other uh, you know setup that you have to make you can always reach us back over there to make it for you well this is highly customizable software so you can, we can change it according to your needs all right so that's one of the uh, best um, you know um, attributes of a circulator software this is an open platform so you can it's highly flexible and when you come to the report section on the main menu when you click on sales report I'll get you the screen which shows sales report this is where you get the reports for all your transaction for example uh, you can click on product sales and execute uh, report button and you it'll get you all those sales that you have performed for a particular time frame or uh, a period of days uh, whatever you have chosen so as of now it shows uh, these are the uh, services that we performed so far at our beauty and color romance and styling and all the stuff so it will get you the to the grand total at the bottom of that list so that's how you can print take a print out of the report as well for taxing purposes and uh, again you can come back to the sales report for taxes you can take a tax report as well so it will show you the tax report for uh, days you know so uh, when you're going to file a tax and then come back to the stock again okay coming back to the sales reports again and you could also take a, a report by payment so this is a payment report based on the method of payment like cash or card or whatever it is it will be shown here and it will get you the ticket number and the total amount that is performed under each method of payment so these are the reports that you could see or uh, take from the sales reports screen on sale glitter okay so i hope you guys are um, able to understand the basic process on how to perform the transaction for a salon and and thank you so much for you guys being uh, staying with me on this video uh really appreciate uh, for your time and let's see you guys again in another interesting video as well thank you